the clove hitch. This is the knot we need to learn to tie horizontally and vertically. To tie the horizontal clove hitch, you take the rope and you wrap it around. Doesn't matter which side of the rope I come through on, but as soon as I come around, I want to crisscross it. As soon as I crisscross it, you can see I crisscross this rope, leave a spot right here, put your finger there or something. So that's where this rope will come through, and that's a clove hitch. See, I can tie it the other way as well, where you come through on this side of the rope. But then as I crisscross, I leave a spot where it crisscrosses, and that's where the rope comes up through, and that too is a clove hitch. Now, for the vertical clove hitch, if you'd be so kind to give me a vertical, all right, you can do the same thing. You wrap around, come under, and as I cross, I want to leave a spot here because that's where the rope is going to come through and you'll have a clove hitch. All right. Now some people find it easier, especially if there's a post here, if it's a tree, you got to learn to tie it the way I just demonstrated it. But some people will cross their arms, grab the rope, come up and make two loops. Put it over, that also is a clove hitch. That's a quick way of doing it for a post.